low impact cardio, low impact cardio with strength training. My son is up, so if you hear him crying, don't just scroll out, okay? If you hear him making noise, don't scroll out. Keep, keep on, keep on with the workout. <laughs> Good morning, um, Takiwa. Good morning, user 886, and good morning, B Right. All right, so we're gonna just walk on the spot for about 20 seconds before we get into our workout. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. All right, so keep walking on the spot, 20 seconds. Seven, and good morning, I hope everyone is doing good. I didn't even start off with that. Good morning. We've been up since four, four o'clock this morning. So I gave him his bath, got him ready for the day. <laughs> That's mom life with a toddler. Help me. <laughs> All right, so now let's get into it. We're gonna do 20 seconds of this. Make sure that you're moving your arms up and down. We wanna to try to work off the back area. All right, 20 seconds, 15, 14, 13, engage your core, 12, 11, 10. Make sure you get your water too. Eight, seven, six, five, just a warm up, four, three, two, one. Whew. We're gonna go down and up. Make sure that you're going into your side, swinging your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Engage your core. Two, one. Now we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Ooh, these arms are feeling it from yesterday. 20, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. That's the first round. We got three more to go. Good morning. Good morning, Coach. Coach Sandra. Good morning, Pretty Foreign. Engage your core. Bevy is here. <laughs> Good morning, Miss White Love. We're just gonna walk on the spot. Keep your body moving. You don't have to walk, but just keep your body moving for the next 30 seconds. Do the ankle weights assist your weightlifting? Yes, because it adds an extra pound to each leg. Good morning, greetings. Good morning, Flo Londa. Thank you for sharing the live. Don't forget, keep on tapping the screen. If you're here on the side sidelines, keep on tapping the screen. Let's get this to 5,000. You look great. Thank you. I'm getting there. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. I'm definitely feeling yesterday's workout. Me too. Good morning. Uh, Alicia, good morning, Miss White Love. And great morning to Lady J. Mendez. Let's get back into it. Yesterday, I am feeling that workout. <laughs> 20, 19, 18, 17, engage your core, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, Whew. down and up. 10 seconds, nine, eight, engage that core. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Next side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You can do it. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go down and up 20 times. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. You can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. That's two rounds down. Two more to go. Whew. Whew. Socks. Linda, I put up the video with the socks and I had a link. Same miles, miles 1852, I think. Now I'm gonna tag you in the video. If you guys like the socks, they are from miles 52, miles 1852, I think. Tired, but I'm here, same. If you are tired and you're here, I went to bed at 11.30, about 12 o'clock. This is our rest period. And I woke up at four because he woke up. <laughs> My son, y'all nephew, your son is the modified version. Well, he is enjoying his tab tablet, which I'm happy. He's eating, so I hope that he stays concentrated on his show. 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16. It feels so hot in my house, y'all. 15, 14, but that's good. 12, 11, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, engage that core. Three, two, one. Down and up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Engage your core. Engage those muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Next side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You can do it. Three, two, one. Down and up and up. Whew, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We can do it. 5, 4. Do your best. 3, 2, 1. All right, we have one more round to go. That's three rounds. Morning, you're a little late. That's all right. Fill back to sleep. Who y'all? Everybody's tired. <laughs> Please do, okay. You're late, but here, that's all that matters. Once you show up, that's all that matters. If you guys like the socks with the M on it, mouse. Oh gosh, I'm gonna act like I didn't, like I didn't see it. You're welcome. All right, let's get back into it. 20 seconds, get a little bit lower. This is our last round. We want to give it all we got. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. The sweat is starting to come. 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, down and up. 10, nine, eight, engage that core. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna go down and up. This one we're gonna get on our tippy toes, okay? Down and up, tippy toe. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, let's go, 2, 1, oh my gosh, 4 rounds, deep breath in through the nose, good morning Candy, Miles, thank you, 5280, <laughs> Miles 5280, that's the socks, good morning, why do you wear ankle weights, because it adds an extra pound to each leg, so it's more weight to help you burn more calories and build some muscle because you have resistance. You don't have to wear them. I just do it because all of my workouts are done at home. I do not go to the gym. So therefore, anything that's going to help me build muscle and add resistance, if you work out at home, it helps. All right. Whew. All right, so now we're gonna work on our arms, even though we did a little bit of arms yesterday, a little bit of arms today. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. You're welcome. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Thank you guys so much for the likes. All right, so now we're going to do, we're gonna work out on our arms as well as our core, because once you start building your arms, your core just gets there as well. But we're not gonna do too, too much. Today's gonna be light, because yesterday was really intense. All right, so my legs are just a little bit apart, okay? Not too much. Knees are slightly bent. I'm bent over, no arch. No curvature in my back and you're gonna bring the weight right to your right to your side okay you're not doing like this you're putting that weight right here to the side of your thigh that's the best way I can describe it all right so we're just gonna go up we're gonna do this for 12 times 12 11 10 9 8 Seven, six, five. I'm doing mine with a 10 pound weight, but it's a little light, so I'm gonna go to the 15 for the next round. Six, five, engage your core if you can. Four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna do a bicep curl. Very easy, simple exercises to help you shape your arm. Okay, we're gonna go up, keep the resistance, down, keep the resistance. We're gonna do that 12 times. So don't lock it, don't have your arms straight, and don't bring it in all the way where your arm is resting. You always wanna keep the resistance. All right, so that's 12, 11, 10, nine, you can do it, eight, seven, elbows are locked into my side, six, no swinging of the weight, five, four, core is engaged, three, I know it was a lot, 
<laughs> two, one. Perfect. We're going to do those two exercises for arms. You can rest right now. We're going to rest for 20 seconds. 18. Thank you guys for getting the likes up as more pounds. And then um, some people, I forgot about this, greetings. She likes the ankle weights because she feels like it keeps her grounded throughout the exercise. So there's a lot of different ways that people like the ankle weights. <laughs> All right. So that's our break. I'm going to get into the 15 pound weight. So this is what people call pro progressive overload is that you do different weights within your sets to help you build muscle. All right. So st same thing. Legs are slightly separated. Knees are slightly bent. My back is not curved in any way. Okay. Neutral back. I like to focus on something on the wall. So I know that my back is neutral. Put my head down. Now bring that up to your hips. Okay. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I love to hear him laugh. 7, 6, 5. You can do it. 4, 3, 2. The sweat is coming. 1. Whew. Now, I'm not going to do this one with bicep curls because, child, my arms cannot do that for today. <laughs> so, elbows are locked in. Okay? Your elbows should be locked into your side. You shouldn't be swinging in any way. All right, we're gonna have full control of this weight. 12, 11, you wanna take your time. 10, nine, no rest at the top, no rest at the bottom. Eight, seven, engage that core. Six, five, four, you can do it. Three, two, keep your wrist straight, one. All right, so that's how you avoid causing any damage to yourself, keeping your wrist straight, all right? You don't wanna bend it forward or like this in any way. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep your wrist straight. Your wrist should be locked in. Elbows are locked into my side. I'm lifting the weight. If, you're, if you feel like the weight is too heavy, do it with a lighter weight to get used to that movement. But you don't wanna bend your wrist, you don't wanna do any of that because you're gonna cause some type of injury, especially as you get into the heavier weights, you don't wanna practice. You don't wanna have bad practices, all right? Whew. Hey nephew, yes, it helps with balance for some, yeah. Good morning, Gerald. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for sharing the live. Thank you for following. If you're new here, we're going to get back into it in the next 10 seconds. 10, 9. So we do lift weights. Weights are very important. Important to your fitness journey. That's how you build muscle. That's how my arms are getting that a definition. You see that? And I'm not, you know, looking masculine. It's just that you just got to lift weights and lose the weight. Hi. Hi, Miss... Miss Chan Chantel, Chantel, that I think is a letter or a number next to the L. It might be confusing. What time do you, is it there? It's at, it's 6, 6.25 a.m. Um, but I have a YouTube channel. So if it's too early for you and you enjoy the workout, you can check out my YouTube channel. But we start every day at 6.05. All right. So same thing. Legs are slightly bent. Back is slightly um, bent over. <laughs> We're going to go up right to the hips. 12, 11, 10. You should feel it in your middle back. 9, 8, 7, whew, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Woo. Let me do an extra one. We did arms yesterday, guys. 
And if you notice, we're using different muscle groups today, even though we're doing arms. I'm gonna try to do this with the 15 pound weight, the bicep curl. Oh, and I can do it, okay. So let's go 12. 11. 10. Nine. Whew. It's hard to not rest if the weight is heavy. Eight. Seven. You want to keep the same movement. Six. That you would do with the smaller weight, with the heavier weight. Five. Okay, just five more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Oh my gosh. Oui. Woo, I did that. So you know what's gonna happen? I'm tearing into new muscle fibers. So my body's gonna burn extra calories throughout the day. And that makes you really hungry. <laughs> you have motivated me, but I have no weights. So I'm going back to your page. I'm inspired. Yes, yes, I, I, I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that. If you missed the live workout, yes. Just go to YouTube, check out the videos. I have the live replays just like this. I don't edit it, so it feels like you're in the live. Thank you so much, Rashadia, for the rose. I hope I said your name correctly. <laughs> how many, how heavy is the weight? I use a 15 and, and 10 pound, but you don't have to use that. That's harder than it looks. <laughs> Whoo, Jesus, okay. You don't have to use a heavy weight when you're first starting out. So don't use the heavy weight because I'm using it. You wanna use a five pound weight, something that you're comfortable with. My son wants another pan pancake. Okay, this is a rest period, hold on. He is gonna eat all my pancakes, y'all. <laughs> he could eat, listen. All right, 30 seconds, get some water. We're gonna get into our floor exercises, which we do we're gonna do core and donkey kicks today. And we do core strengthening exercises um, because in order to see your abs, I know everybody says that they want to, to have abs. Nobody really wants abs because in order to keep your abs, you have to do a lot. You just want a flatter stomach. And what we do here, we do core strengthening exercises that help to strengthen your core. And then you can eat your way into a flatter stomach. All right, just give me one second as I make warm up this pancake for my son. Cut it up. I already warmed it. Ouch. That's hot. Dum da da dum da da dum da. Ay ay ay. Y'all, why is it so hot? I'm gonna have to put some whipped cream on here. Ah, okay. Um, give nephew the pancake, right? Oh, he just wants all of the pancakes, y'all. All of the pancakes. For him, I add a little bit of coconut whipped cream. Don't ever buy this. This thing right here, oh my gosh, it gets stuck. You have to really shake it up. Urgh. You have to give it a really good shake. I put this on there when it's too, when it's too warm. <laughs> and yeah, all right, so let's get on the ground. Now for the people that cannot get on the ground, because of, let me make sure it's not hot. Yeah, it's cooled down now. There you go, more pancakes, yay! <laughs> He's had three already, three. All right, so let's get into our core. Start with five, yes, start with five, get a 10. How long, it's a 30 minute workout, so we're getting into the into the end of the workout right now, which is our floor exercises. If you cannot do the ab, the core, I said ab, the core uh, workout on the ground, you can stand up and you can do like this, okay? You can do that for the same amount of time that we're gonna do it on the ground. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna do our donkey kicks. Let me grab my pillow, I forgot my pillow. I use a pillow for my knees because I do not have the best knees, hence why I do low impact cardio. <laughs> is way more um, watching you work out, making him hungry. I don't know that he is just eating everything. 
I don't know if it's an age thing, but man, he just ate my pan pancakes. So now I really got to make some eggs or something. <sighs> okay. So let's get into the core workout, which we're going to meet our leg to our foot. You got to get the shoulder off the ground. Okay. We're going to go 15 on each side. So this is 15. 14, engage your core if you can. Try to bring it in as you're doing this. 13, 12, 11, get the shoulder up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, you can do it. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. All right, that's the first round. Let's just rest here. Ugh. <laughs> Let's just rest. And then we're going to get back into another set. We're just going to do one more. And then we're going to do our donkey kicks our crisscrosses and then our cool down, which if you're new here, we do stomach vacuums at the end of each workout, which is great for postpartum moms. These workouts are mom friendly. So if you had a baby recently and you're clear to exercise, you can do low impact cardio with a little bit of strength training, do light weights. Don't, don't do the heavy ones. All right, let's get back into it. 15 on each side, lift that shoulder off the ground, 14. Ooh, 13, 12, 11, 10, you can do it, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, it's so easy. <laughs> Two, one, ooh. <sighs> All right, let's get into the donkey kicks. All right, at 6.33, we had a little intermission. <sighs> let's get our resistance band. Where did I put it? Oh, my resistance band, hold on one second. Hold on one second. All right. I like to put a resistance band on. You don't have to because again, we're working out at home. We don't have access to a lot of weights. So any way that I can build some muscle, I like to do that. Okay, muscle is how you're gonna be able to burn more, burn more of the fluff as some may say. All right, so now we're gonna get into our donkey kicks. We're on our, we're on our elbows and we're gonna go straight up. Is this a good spot? Okay, 10, nine, eight. My legs are already shaking, what's up with that? <laughs> Seven, <laughs> six, five, oh my gosh, four, Three, two, one, extend, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing to the next side. 10, nine, eight, make sure your foot is going straight up. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, extend, five, four, three, oops, two, one. Oh my gosh, she's gonna think I'm playing with him. Okay, he is fine. All right, let's rest for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Let me turn this because that's not a good spot. All right, this might be better. All right, 10, nine, hold it up for one second, eight, seven, we can do this, six, five, four, three, oh gosh, you can feel it, two, one more, one, we're gonna extend, 10, oops, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You okay? <laughs> Next side. 10. My son is just watching his show. <laughs> Eight. He doesn't even care. Seven. Six. Five. Pancakes are his favorite, just in case you guys wanted to know that. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Extend. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's 637. We're not gonna do our crisscrosses. We're gonna leave that out for today. We're just gonna go into our stomach vacuums and stretching. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the resistance band, put that to the side. Stomach vacuums. I need to straighten this out. Let's see. Okay. Stomach vacuums. You want to lay down. We're going to do one laying down, one on all fours, and then the other one standing up. So laying down, you want to engage your core muscles, and you want to make your stomach as flat as it can be. Try to envision that your navel is touching your back while breathing. All right? That's how you're going to strengthen those muscles. It's just like if you were to flex your arm, you're going to flex your stomach muscles and you're going to pull your stomach in and back and down. Try to just get it as flat as you can while breathing. All right. So deep breath in. Exhale. All right. Let's deep breath in. Exhale and engage your core muscles. Try to get your core as flat, it doesn't have to look like it, it just needs to feel like it. So you need to try to envision that your navel is touching your back. 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, breathe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's one of my favorites for the stomach vacuums. All right, now we're going to stretch. You can extend one leg. You're going to bring the other one up. Deep breath in. Exhale and bring that leg in close. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend that leg. Flatten the foot at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do the same thing to the next side. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Bring that leg in close. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend, flatten the foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. And now we're going to get up. We're going to put our foot in front of our knee, elbow, and, ooh, the back is already cracking. If your back cracks is normal, um, you should not feel any pain. If you feel pain, please stop. All right, five, four, three, two, one. For some reason, while I'm doing this, I'm engaging my core as well. While I inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale. Turn that back very slowly. All right, release, whew. And now we're going to turn over. We're gonna do a stomach vacuum. This one is one of my favorites as well. 
because you get a deeper core engagement. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in. We're gonna exhale, engage your core, bring your core in, curve your back. 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, continue to breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your time and release your muscles. Good job. And now we're just going to extend on back, get a good stretch in our arms. Don't forget to drink your water today. Every time you work out, you should drink a lot of water. Each day you should drink a lot of water because that's how your body is going to recover. It's gonna help your body recover so that you don't get sore, all right? Lack of food and water makes you get really sore. All right, not McDonald's though. <laughs> Deep breath in, exhale as you get to the top. Give your core a nice stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so now let's get up. Ah, we're gonna do the last stomach vacuum, standing up. Okay, I was trying to get caught up, but, I'm, but I wanna do the stomach vacuum first. So stomach vacuum, all right, is not just holding in your stomach for the new people, it's not just holding it in and that's it. No, we are fully engaging our core muscles we're holding them in place, we're stretching them out, we're building up that core strength with this particular exercise, all right? So deep breath in. If you're laying down in bed, you can do this as well. If you're laying down, so no excuses. <laughs> deep breath in. Exhale. We just wanted some oxygen. On this next one, we are going to engage and pull in our core muscles and we're gonna hold that in place. It does take some time, if you're new to it, to get used to breathing and doing the exercise at the same time, all right? So let's try one, standing up together. This is our last one for the workout. We do this at the end of every workout, strengthening our core. Deep breath in. Exhale and engage your core muscles, engage. I like to stretch my arms out, especially for the first time. Stretch your arms out, stretch your core out. All right, if you're laying in bed, stretch it out the same way. And you're gonna hold this, hold your muscle in place for 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and that is it for the workout <laughs> that is it for today so that's 30 minutes of low impact cardio strength training and then about a 10 minute cool down with stomach vacuums